Bhagavatam, Canto 1, Chapter 7, The Son of Drona Punished. Shlok 4. Bhakti Yoga na Manasi Samya Pranihite Amale Apashat Purusham Purunamayam Cha Tadapa Ashrayam. Translation. Thus he fixed his mind perfectly engaging it by linking it in devotional service bhakti yoga without any tinge of materialism and thus he saw the absolute personality of godhead along with his external energy which was under full control purport perfect vision of the absolute truth is possible only by the linking process of devotional service this is also confirmed in the bhagavad gita one can perfectly realize the absolute truth personality of Godhead only by the process of devotional service and one can enter into the kingdom of God by such perfect knowledge. Imperfect realization of the absolute by the partial approach of the impersonal Brahman or localized Paramatma does not permit anyone to enter into the kingdom of God. Sri Narad advised Sri Lavasadev to become absorbed in transcendental meditation on the personality of Godhead and his activities. Sri Lavasadev did not take notice of the effulgence of Brahman because that is not absolute vision. The absolute vision is the personality of Godhead as it is confirmed in the Bhagavad Gita. Vasudeva Sarvam Iti in the Upanishads also, it is confirmed that Vasudeva, the personality of Godhead, is covered by the golden glowing Hiranya Mayena Patrina wheel of impersonal Brahman and when that curtain is removed by the mercy of the Lord, the real face of the Absolute is seen. The Absolute is mentioned here as the Purusha or person. The absolute personality of Godhead is mentioned in so many Vedic literatures and in the Bhagavad Gita, the Purusha is confirmed as the eternal and original person. The absolute personality of Godhead is the perfect person. The Supreme Person has manifold energies out of which the internal, external and marginal energies are specifically important. The energy mentioned here is the external energy as will be clear from the statements of her activities. The internal energy is there along with the absolute person as the moonlight is there with the moon. The external energy is compared with darkness because it keeps the living entities in the darkness of ignorance. The word Apashrayam suggests that this energy of the Lord is under full control. The internal potency or superior energy is also called Maya, but it is spiritual Maya or energy exhibited in the absolute realm. When one is under the shelter of this internal potency, the darkness of material ignorance is at once dissipated, and even those who are Atmaram or fixed in trains take shelter of this maya or internal energy. Devotional service or bhakti yoga is the function of the internal energy. Thus there is no place for the inferior energy or material energy just as there is no place for darkness in the effulgence of spiritual light. Such internal energy is even superior to the spiritual bliss attainable in the conception of impersonal Brahman. It is stated in the Bhagavad Gita that the impersonal Brahman effulgence is also an emanation from the absolute personality of Godhead Shri Krishna. The Param Purusha cannot be anyone except Shri Krishna himself as it will be explained in the latter shlokas.